All right, so the Kimura and the Americana, it's essentially an arm lock here or an arm lock here. So if the arm is low, you Kimura it. If the arm is high, you figure four it. So if it's here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, it works from every position, right? Am I in the guard? No. 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 We improve position first. This is to do damage. This is also a way to do weapon retention. Now, if the arm is down, it's the exact same thing. I can do it from here. I can do it from here. I can do it from here. All which is still going to destroy the arm every single way. None of that changes if he, if he has a gun or a knife, right? I can do it and control that wrist so it can't move and can't, can't cut me. I can throttle on. So, the whole point of both of those moves is for weapon retention and for weapon takeaway. So if, if I'm trying to, if he's trying to control his own weapon, this is how you're gonna get your guns taken away from you, right? If somebody's on you and they're trying to take your gun, you need to understand how they're gonna try and do it. So we have the Americana, and we have the Kimura. Now, we can also control the direction that this gun is pointing. We're gonna move into now fighting for guns. Or nice. What's the longest axis of this? The top, the, slide. the top, the slide for this gun. For most guns, that, that's how it is. So if, if he grabs it there and I grab it here, and we're of equal strength, who's gonna win this fight? He is. He is. He is. He's gonna win the gun, control of this gun, because he has the longer axis, so he's he, he has the longer lever to, to fight for the gun. That's if all things are equal, right? That's why no nothing's equal, because some people are going to be stronger. I am stronger than him, and I'm stronger than her. I'm not stronger than him. So we have to be aware of our assets and liabilities. Well, I don't like that. So the last kind of two submissions takeaways that we're going to look at is a finger flex, which is stretching the fingers back towards the wrist or stretching the fingers back towards the forearm. To take a gun out, I always want to control the long axis, which is going to be here. Finger flex, I'm just bending his wrist, the top of his knuckles back towards his arm, just like this, right? As we train, see how he's being awesome and not putting his finger in the trigger well? When we're training in here, um, in the military, we cut the trigger guard off so guys don't do it because they're stupid. Um, but you guys are smart, so you're not gonna put your fingers in there, okay? Okay? Check. All right. So, finger flex is I push it back I always want to control the long axis. I'm pushing it back until it comes free. Now I fight for it, or the gooseneck. See how I move my body not in front of the barrel? Okay. Not flagging I'll, himself. I'm not flagging myself. <laughs> what do I want to fight? The long side? Am I in a good position? Am I fighting for the gun? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those two things are being met. So maybe I get here, I just pin it down, and then I just start elbowing him, or I grab his eye and I push it out, or I take his ear and I tear it off. I like all those things. Or I grab the knife or the brick that's next to me and I smash his head with it, or I start dropping knees in the top of his head. These are all, we've met those first two requirements where we're fighting for position and we're con controlling the weapon. Then I can do damage. This also bah, might make it even easier for me to get the gun. All right, so finger flex. Gooseneck. There you go. You notice there he did the Americana and he used his hand on the barrel where he would have put his hand on the wrist. So instead of being here, I went here. But it's still I'll still tear his arm off. The thing about the gooseneck and the finger flex, you don't have to be just on the weapon itself. Okay, I cannot grab what's the long axis of the knife. The blade. The blade. Do I want to grab the blade? No. no. So this is what happens when you try to take a knife from somebody. You guys see that scar that starts from the center fingerprint of my ring finger and goes across my hand like this? Yeah, don't do that. Um, so, I don't grab like this. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but here. So I have, here is what move? Look, it's like a goose egg. No, that's a duck. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gooseneck. Finger flex. You can do this from any position. Do those look like Americana positions? Yeah. 
could I just slide my arm up through here and then do a finger flex? Yeah, right? So these two basic positions, you can also do the finger flex and the gooseneck at any time to get whatever's in their hand out of their hand. 